a few moments later. All right, guys, it has been a while and I couldn't make my mind up. I was deciding between pasta and pizza and I asked you guys and you said pizza. So that's what I'm gonna get. Um, it's, there's this restaurant around the corner. It's an Italian place. It's, uh, do you call this one and pop shops? Uh, <laughs> do you call this one and pop shop? Yeah. Yeah, so it's a mom and pop shop. What kind of pizza am I getting? Your favorite? Where's Your favorite, favorite? is Hawaiian. You get my favorite thing. is Hawaiian, but I always get Hawaiian. Then get something else. You get, um... You know what I'm gonna get? No, hold on. Hamburger pizza. If I tell them to That's make me... That's too close to me, huh? No, it's okay. okay. When I'm telling them to make me hamburger pizza, they're gonna whoop my ass. <laughs> Why? Because it's an Italian place. Oh, then get an Italian pizza, my, my duty. Hi, booby. I'm gonna get a Reese's pizza and then I'm gonna eat some Oreos. Oh, you're so cute. All right, guys, so we are on the way to the pizza place and I'm not sure what exactly I'm getting. I'm getting pizza, you help me decide. But I don't know what kind of pizza. I always get Pizza Hawaii. I love Pizza Hawaii. Uh, that's Nate's fault. Yeah, it better be my fault. No, it's, I love it. But I want something different because I always eat the same. Boobies. All right, uh, guys, I um, couldn't let fully go of the Pizza Hawaii. That's why I got um, a Greek Pizza Hawaii. Is that? It's Greek? I don't know. I put feta cheese and pineapple on it and oh. I think 50% of you guys gonna slaughter me in your mind for putting pineapple on a pizza but I really like the fresh taste of pineapple on pizza. back with some Greek Hawaiian pizza. That's what I called it. But before we start this, I just received a package from Bonfire. It's not my own merch that is new, but I bought Nate's merch. And I'm so excited about this hoodie. I love this. It's the Food Ninja one. It is not available anymore. He might bring it out again, but I'm going to change real quick. Okay, is that cool or what? That is awesome, and I also like it oversized, so that is freaking dope, and I'm super happy about that. Can't wait to show Nate. However, we have pizza that wants to be eaten. This is pizza with tomato sauce, obviously, feta cheese and pineapple, and I cannot wait to dig in. I didn't have pizza in a long time. Last week didn't really count. I was already full, and I was like just having, having one piece, but yeah, pizza makes me full in some weird way. So here we go. I hope you can see that. This is super thin crust. I think this is a fantastic alternative for vegetarians. Instead of having Hawaiian, you can go for this. Pizza is very good. I think this is my new favorite type of pizza, honestly. And this is fantastic. You know what, guys? I'm wondering. Why? Some people consider it such a crime to put pineapple on pizza. I don't understand. There are so many crazy food creations out there. This one, 
is not even remotely crazy. And I think savory and sweet always go so well together. So, I really wanna know who started that feud. This pizza doesn't even have crust, which is awesome. Because personally, I don't like the crust. And it's super thin, and it's not like soggy. Like if you look at it, there is almost no grease at all. But that's what I mean. Pizza always tend to fill me up quickly. Uh, it's probably the dough, maybe the cheese. I don't know what it is, but I'm starting to feel full. I might leave a slice to my mama. Or Nate. <laughs> But Nate is gonna do another awesome video today, so. One piece left, but to stay comfortable, I'm going to wait or leave this to my mama. Uh, she'll be really happy. And um, yes, I'll definitely bring her back. And now we are facing a preparing marathon for Nate's video. I have a super cool dessert plan for later. It has to do with a celebrity recipe I recreated and I didn't try it yet and I'm super excited to try it. So see you in a few seconds. A little longer than a few minutes later. guys I just tried this cheesecake for the cooking video and it's Khloe Kardashian's bomb ass cheesecake and it's actually really good uh, I improved it with a raspberry and no berry jam it was really tasty what does it taste like mmm very good cheesecake do you want a piece I can't I'm full now my face is but yeah this is what it looks like it's actually really good so you want a piece yeah it's a small the smallest piece that you can do guys it's because I just got. What is this? Oh, it's good. It's actually really good. It's a ten out of ten. It's a ten out of ten. Yeah, I love cheesecake. Mm. That crust mm. is really good. What did you make this out of? Um, I bought um, specific cookies, and I made it with butter and a little bit of sugar, and I put cinnamon in it. That is straight lava juice. Lava juice. That's lava juice sprinkled all over it. Mm. That's some La Flames. La Flames. I really like this. Succulent. It's succulent lava juice. <laughs> okay, I need to go there now. I'm sorry. Okay. Thank you for that bite. I got you. Oh no. I gotta say, with the berry jam in it, it's super good. Recipe video will be out. This cheesecake is fire. I would have honestly made it a little sweeter, but the jam, perfect. And it has a weird denseness to it, in a good way. if the berry part would play out the way I hoped it would, but it did. And I wish I would have done the whole cheese cake now, but hindsight, guys, hindsight. If you wanna make this recipe yourself, I'm going to upload a recipe video this week and also link, type, leave the link of the original recipe in the description box. 
in the next video. I ate half the cheesecake. Would definitely recommend to try it out yourself. It's Livia approved. It's 3.30, so we have plenty of time to eat more food. It's good. One debt to society later. All right, guys, welcome to dinner. So I ordered some Spanish slash Mexican tapas and in front of me, I don't remember the names. I know this is chili con carne. You can really see that. Chili con carne, meatballs and spicy sauce, fried onion rings, chicken shish kebab, and some other kind of chicken with guacamole, bean paste. And yeah, I am. Um, I don't remember when I had tapas the last time, but you know what? We're gonna try that. I was really looking forward to this chili con carne. It looks a little soupy. Very weird taste. It is very soupy. No beans in it at all. No. Mm -mm. Wow. This is probably the worst chili con carne I ever had and I'm really sorry to say that, but that's not good. Maybe the meatballs and hot sauce are better. Since tapas are basically small plates of, you know, not appetizers, but small plates of things, I didn't expect that much. Um, I don't know, I don't remember what it is, something avocado. Looks like a fajita mix, but that's good. We have some bean paste. They were very skimpy on the bean paste. Let's try this. Yeah. <laughs> that goes good together with this. This is actually really good. We also have some guacamole, and I think the best guacamole I ever had is chipotle. Oh, this one is actually pretty good too. I'm actually liking this one. Essentially, guacamole is easy to make, but to get the taste right is really hard. Too many vegetables for cheat day. <laughs> we got chicken shish kebab. That chicken is good, but it's very, there's basically no seasoning to it. That's better. The guacamole is very good, I have to say that. I 
I think the guacamole was the best part of this order. The chili con carne is a hell no to the no no. The bean paste, let me get another. It's sour ish. It is weird. I gotta say that. And I do have some onion rings. I can't even eat anymore. <laughs> The onion rings heavily taste like the oil they're fried in. I will uh, leave those to my brother. He loves onion rings just like Nate. And see if he wants to eat them because I can't do them. What is this? Sour cream. It's a little weird because the sauce of the meatballs is sour already. Yeah, that's why I don't eat pa um, tapas. Guys, I don't want to bitch about anything. The guacamole was super good and I'm excited for dessert, but yeah. I was really excited for the chili con carne, but it wouldn't happen tonight. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm back with uh, my cheesecake and I'm actually going to put some berry. It's actually mixed berry, it's not raspberry. I don't know why I thought it was raspberry. It looks similar, but I'm going to put this on top of the cake because trust me, it is so good together. And it might probably, or it does probably taste better mixed in, but you know. That's actually really good. Forest fruit. So it's raspberry, blackberry, and blueberry. It was bomb. Oh yeah, now we're talking. One more piece. I think you can also easily make this a vegan recipe when you replace the cream cheese with um, almond based vegan cream cheese and the sour cream with soy yogurt and the eggs I think with applesauce and the butter with plant based butter And that, ladies and gentlemen, would be all for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for the support and your help you give me on Instagram. I can't decide what to do. And yeah, love reading your comments and messages. So thank you so much for watching and I see you in the next video. Bye guys.